Hello and welcome to this new section. So in this section we are going to discuss about what is static memory allocation. So uh, there is a code that I have written in the main function. Okay, there is a main function in C++. So I have defined two variables. Okay, one is integer type and another is float type. So what is static memory allocation? Let me first uh, draw a diagram to understand this thing better this is a hard drive and this is a cpu okay so this is your main memory this is your cpu this is your hard drive okay so now your memory is divided into three sections. What are those? Code section, stack and heap. Okay. This section is what? Heap. This section is what? Stack. And this section is what? Code section. Code section. Okay. So your main memory is divided into this three parts and this is connected with this okay now uh, in the static memory allocation let's first uh, analyze this thing so your program so this is your program uh, let us suppose this is a file name the file name of this program is abc okay this is your file name your uh, file name is abc so what it does it is stored in first of all in hard drive okay in your hard drive it is saved okay this uh, is your abc and it is saved in this your in your hard drive now what compiler do it will first load this file into your machine code in this code section so this is your machine code and it will, uh, what it does, it will load in this code section. Okay, it's a machine code. Your compiler will do the same. Okay, from the hard disk to main memory. Now, now the main part in static memory allocation. This program is compiling and it will sort out that there are two variables. One is integer and another is float so what it does in the stack in the stack allocation it will create a frame i should represent it with green line so this is a frame in the stack i should always say in the stack it will create a frame okay what it does it defines two memory allocation First is your uh, A and another is your B. Okay. So it, at the compile time, another point at the compile time, at the compile time, it will allocate these two memory location okay and this frame is known as stack frame what it does what it means stack frame or we can say that activation record okay it what it symbolizes stack frame or activation record so this is your stack frame or activation record okay so at the compile time one point to remember in this static memory allocation at compile time it will allocate these two variables okay and during the execution it will remain in this stack frame 
whenever its scope is out whenever there is a end of line then this stack frame comes into end okay compiler will automatically deallocate this memory one most important point whenever line comes into this d uh, end of file end of file comes into this bracket it will automatically delete this record okay so this is what static memory allocation means the memory allocated at the compile time during the program execution okay now you can understand this concept in the next section we are discussing the topic about what is dynamic memory allocation okay so this is it for this section we'll see you in the next happy data structures